In this video, I'm gonna share 15 absolute best comedy movies on Netflix that dropped in 2023. So without any further ado, let's get straight to the number 15 pick, Murder Mystery 2. This one reunites Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston as Nick and Audrey. They're back in action, trying to keep their detective agency afloat when a new mystery drops into their laps at a wedding. I'll be honest, after the first one, I had low expectations for this sequel. But guess what? It delivered. If you're into humor, crazy situations, and light-hearted evenings, this one's for you. Next up we've got, The Lovebirds, starring Kumail Nanjiani and Issa Rae. The story revolves around a couple on the brink of a breakup, who suddenly find themselves on the run after witnessing a murder. This film eventually settles into a mix of action comedy and rom-com beats. Now I won't sugarcoat it, but this film is a bit of a roller coaster. It's hilarious in some parts, especially early on when the couple's banter is on fire. But it can also hit some bumps with jokes that don't quite land. The plot is a bit predictable and basic, but it doesn't stop it from being a fun ride. Coming up next in another Adam Sandler movie, You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah. Here Adam Sandler takes a step aside, letting his daughter Sonny Sandler shine in this coming-of-age comedy. It's a tale of two middle school best friends turned bitter rivals after a crush-stealing incident. The film is steeped in Jewish culture, and it adds some delightful layers to this family-friendly flick. Now I'll be upfront, I watched this one as a time killer, not expecting much, but I was surprised. Despite not being the target audience, I found myself enjoying the charm, good laughs, and touching story. Give it a shot, even if you're not a young teen. From one teen comedy to another, we have Do Revenge. This one's like a dream come true for teen comedy enthusiasts. Starring Camila Mendez from Riverdale and Maya Hawke from Stranger Things, it's a tale of unlikely friendship between Dre and Eleanor. These two, wronged by friends and exes, team up for the ultimate mission of helping each other get revenge. Netflix's teen movies haven't always hit the mark, but this one exceeded my expectations. It definitely has a target audience, so keep that in mind. It leans heavily into the young teen movie vibe. So, if you're up for some laughs and a decent story, give it a shot. Next on our list is Bad Trip. This one's outrageously juvenile, but it will make you laugh incredibly hard. Eric Andre and Lil Rel Howery take center stage as two friends embarking on a wild road trip from Florida to New York. And their aim is to track down the girl of their dreams. What sets this film apart is that every scene is shot as a prank, with unsuspecting strangers becoming background characters. And fair warning, this one is insanely R-rated. There were moments where I thought, they're so stupid, but I couldn't stop laughing. Bad Trip is a hidden camera comedy that consistently delivers laughs, with well-executed sketches and a surprisingly good plot for this genre. Coming in at number 10 is I Used To Be Famous. It's a tale of a washed-up pop star trying to regain the spotlight. Ed Scrain plays the pop star who forms an unlikely music partnership with a young autistic boy named Stevie. What's remarkable here is the casting of Long, who is neurodivergent, unlike the typical casting of neurotypical actors for autistic characters in film. This authenticity adds depth to the characters and the story. It's clean, well-acted, and offers a feel-good story, even if it's somewhat predictable but that predictability doesn't diminish the film's charm. It keeps it real, with no flashy stuff, just realism and a solid story. At number 9, we have They Clone Tyrone. It's a sci-fi comedy that's designed to remind us of the best entries in the blaxploitation subgenre. The cast includes Jamie Foxx, John Boyega, and Tayona Paris in a story involving a hustler, a pimp, and a sex worker who stumble upon a nationwide government conspiracy. The trio gives standout performances, but Boyega, in particular, shines as he portrays multiple versions of his character, each with a unique tragic depth. This movie takes us down a rabbit hole of hilarious conspiracy and fantasy that's not just for African Americans but for anyone who enjoys a wild ride. Coming up next is Moxie. This one is tailor-made for younger audiences and those who support feminist causes. The story follows Vivian, who is inspired by her mom's rebellious past and starts an underground feminist zine in her high school. The film is unapologetically feminist and aims to ignite conversations about sexism, discrimination, and activism among teenagers. Now I know this one received mixed reviews, with some critics finding it a bit too heavy-handed. As for the comedy, well it's there, but it's often overshadowed by the more serious themes. Overall Moxie might not be for everyone, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're into films that tackle social issues in a bold way. Coming in at number 7 is Glass Onion A Knives Out Mystery. Now if you've seen Knives Out, you know what kind of ride to expect. Daniel Craig is back as Benoit Blanc, 
this time jetting off to Greece to solve another complex puzzle. It's a fun and chaotic sequel that's essentially a wild mashup of murder mystery, comedy, and family drama. The cast is star-studded, with the likes of Kate Hudson, Dave Bautista, and Edward Norton joining the mix. Forget about the first movie, just strap in for a roller coaster of plot twists and eccentric characters. It's pure entertainment that keeps you guessing till the end. At number 6, we have a futile and stupid gesture. It's a biographical comedy drama that tells the story of Doug Kenny, co-founder of National Lampoon magazine. This film is like a love letter to the world of comedy. It's funny, sad, and filled with cameos of comedy legends like Bill Murray and Chevy Chase. The film takes us on a wild ride through the rise and fall of National Lampoon and Doug Kenny's life, and it's a fascinating journey. While it's a comedy, it's also a tribute to the pioneers of humor who changed the comedy landscape forever. It's not just a film, it's an experience that will make you laugh and maybe even shed a tear for the unsung heroes of comedy. Next flick on the list is Always Be My Maybe. It's in another rom-com that hit the streaming giant this year. Starring Randall Park and Ali Wong, it's about two childhood friends who reunite as adults, and you guessed it, sparks fly. What sets this one apart is the hilarious cameo by none other than Keanu Reeves, playing a caricatured version of himself. It's a slow burn at first, setting up the character's backgrounds, but it has some truly funny moments, especially when Keanu enters the scene. It's a rom-com, so it follows a somewhat predictable path, but it does so with charm and humor. It's a cozy watch for a lazy evening. Coming in at number 4 is 21 Jump Street. It's a buddy cop comedy that took everyone by surprise. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum play two inept cops who get a second chance at their careers by going undercover in a high school. And the result is, hilarity and a lot of poking fun at high school cliches. What's impressive about this film is how it managed to turn a cheesy 80s TV show into a hilarious and self-aware comedy. It makes fun of everything, from the concept itself to the character's absurdity. Hill and Tatum's chemistry is fantastic, and their comedic timing is spot on. The film doesn't take itself seriously, which is its biggest strength. It's a riot from start to finish, and you'll probably find yourself quoting lines from it. Next on our list, we have Dolmite Is My Name. It's a biographical comedy drama that tells the story of Rudy Raymore's journey to make his character Dolmite famous. Murphy is on fire here, capturing Moore's charisma, determination, and of course, his hilarious stage presence. But it's not just Murphy, Wesley Snipes steals the show as Derville Martin, a filmmaker roped into the madness. The film is an ode to the black exploitation era and the DIY spirit of Moore's work. It's a funny story of perseverance, creativity, and the power of believing in oneself. Coming in at number 2 is The Nice Guys. Set in 1977 Los Angeles, it follows a private investigator and a hired enforcer as they investigate the disappearance of a young woman. What's unexpected here is just how funny it is. Gosling in particular shines as a bumbling, alcoholic detective with a knack for getting into absurd situations. His comedic timing is impeccable, and his physical comedy is a joy to watch. Crow plays the straight man to Gosling's antics, and the dynamic between them is perfect. The film is a hilarious mix of slapstick humor, witty banter, and a dash of noir mystery. And finally, our top pick is Hunt for the Wilder People. This is a quirky adventure that pairs a grumpy man named Heck and a foul-mouthed kid named Ricky in the New Zealand bush. What ensues is a hilarious and heartwarming journey that showcases Whitey D's signature humor and knack for creating endearing characters. Sam Neill as Heck and Julian Dennison as Ricky have fantastic chemistry and their interactions are pure comedy gold. It's a unique film that takes you on a journey through the stunning New Zealand wilderness while keeping you laughing and emotionally invested in the characters' lives. And there you have it folks, 15 comedy gems on Netflix from 2023 that deserve a spot on your watch list. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow binge watchers.